So I just got this Epiato portable air compressor pump. So I just want to go ahead and test it out on my back tire over here. Uh, it's going to be 120 watts. So here, let me just go ahead and open it up. And right here, first thing I see on top are going to be all the different nozzles. And then we're going to have uh, this sheet of paper with the instructions. And basically tells us uh, also what all the parts are. Uh, and then underneath that, we're going to have the pump itself and a nice little case that comes with it. So for starters, here's what the case looks like. Uh, we got the EP Auto logo in the center. And then there it is, and it is going to be zippered. So that's nice that it does come with something to go ahead and put it away. And then finally, the pump itself. And this thing has some good weight to it. So uh, I tested out another one as well, too. And this one just feels a lot sturdier in my hand. Uh, and then up top here, there's going to be this sticker. So you just take that off. It says power on to start inflating, switch is below the flashlight, remove the seal before use. And here we can go ahead and see the screen. We got the logo again. We got the three buttons. Uh, it says air compressor there. Uh, and then here is the light. So that's awesome that it does have light. And uh, it has four different LEDs. And then right there, we can go ahead and see the switch. So here, this can come right off. Uh, and then uh, for the actual tubing part, it is going to be wrapped around on these clips, which is uh, good that it does have that. And yeah, this cable actually is pretty long as well too, as you can see. And then the same goes for the cable uh, to go ahead and plug it into the car. Yeah, this is really, uh, really long. And we have uh, this fuse over here. So there it is. Uh, and there also is a replacement fuse that I saw in that little baggie it came with. Yeah, right there we got the blue, that's the replacement fuse. All right, so I wanna go ahead and uh, screw this in, but I gotta make sure that this is turned off, which it is, uh, and then I can go ahead and just remove this valve cap. And then uh, right here, now this doesn't have like a little cap, so I do have to go ahead and screw this in. And there, now it's nice and tight. All right, now it's time to go ahead and connect it to the car. So I can just plug this in right over here at the bottom. And the cable is definitely long enough, it reaches. And there, yeah, I even still have uh, more slack over here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the car. And here you can see this is for the back tire, and it's still uh, pretty spacious. So if I did use uh, the other side of the back, uh, it still would go ahead and reach. And as you can see, it went ahead and lit up immediately. All right, so now there's only going to be three buttons. So if I press the M, that's just going to change units. So this is bar, KPA, and then uh, kilograms per centimeter squared and PSI. So I'll leave it as is. Uh, and then the back tire needs to be 33 PSI. So let me go ahead and change it to that. Right there. And then if I wait for a second, uh, it's going to stop blinking and it's going to tell me what the current PSI of the tire is, which is 25 and a half extremely low so now let me go ahead and turn it on
All right, there, I went ahead and reached 33 PSI, so I went ahead and shut off automatically. Now I can go ahead and just uh, turn it off. And there. And now to go ahead and uh, take this off again, I have to just turn this counterclockwise. And there, and I can go ahead and put uh, the valve cap back on. All right, now everything can be stored back how it was. So for starters, I'll go ahead and just uh, hook these onto the clips. So I do like the fact that it does have this, just so it makes it easy uh, to go ahead and store. And now uh, the wire can just be wrapped around. And I do like the fact that this does go ahead and come with the, the Velcro strap just to go ahead and tie it up. Just because uh, another one I went ahead and tested out, I uh, didn't have this. Uh, I just had to use the like kind of tie it came with. I didn't have like a Velcro strap like this, so this is pretty convenient. Well, now here's what the side goes ahead and looks like. It says caution, uh, hot. Uh, beware of high temperature under operation. Overheat protection will shut off automatically when exceeds 167 degrees Fahrenheit. And everything can be placed inside the baggie. There, just like so, and it can be zipped up. But yeah, that's a quick look at the Epiato Portable Tire Inflator Air Compressor.